All right, so I want to give a quick, a short update um, on what's going on with Tron and WoW. And, and basically, I had a conversation with this guy over here, Shadow of Souls. I don't even know if he's, like, real. Someone said he was paid to FUD, maybe, because he's not making sense. He's talking in circles. But there are people who would be confused on this and why it could work, this new mechanism in place. Now, before I start this video, let me just tell you something. I love the idea that the developers are trying to do something to figure out how to make their business model continue to move forward. Because the way that it looked like yesterday, after I got the video, I started, somebody had mentioned that the, somebody had mentioned that the entire token was going to be mined in its entirety um, within a few days. And I thought, wow, what's going to happen then? And then it looked like the devs weren't saying a whole lot in Telegram. Um, so it was just like, you know, I wasn't, I went from feeling really good at first when I made my video yesterday to feeling, or went live to feel like, uh, okay, this is maybe what's going to happen here. And then they came out with this announcement last night. It said, to ensure the benefit of the community and improve the long-term value of WoW, we will change the way of sending dividends and rewards. Instead of sending TRX dividends, we will send WoW of the same value. WoW dividend amount equals TRX amount in dividend pool. WoW average price per day. WoW average price that day. So TRX in the dividend pool will be 100% used to buy back, and all WoW that is bought back will be burned. We will announce the buyback condition in the community. The WoW that once was used to do node prize airdrops will all be burned. We will send node prize with new issued WoW. We will announce the buyback condition in the community. Reward of referral will be changed to WoW instead of TRX. The buyback and burn plan will last to when total supply of WoW comes to 100 million. We will have more than we have more than 10,000 WoW holders, which ranks first in Tron. A WoW of 1 billion does not satisfy, satisfy the market demand, so Tron WoW team decided to issue another. Sorry, so Tron WoW team decides to issue another 1 billion total supply, total to of 2 billion. All right. So all these above starts. Well, this is a matter. They've actually already started it. They paid out yesterday. So here's the thing. Let me come over here and shut down my Discord for now. So here's the thing. This guy over here, Shadows, he basically was, oh, sorry, I got to go back to mining. Um, he was basically saying, he was basically saying, how does this work? Blah, you know, this isn't going to work. They're dumping $1 billion. This is inflationary, so on and so forth. And he just wasn't getting it. First of all, they're not dumping $1 billion, not $1 billion, $1 billion. Wow. They're not dumping that. And so let me just come over here because I was having a whole conversation with them. But then I realized this guy just doesn't get it, like at all, at all. Now, I'm, again, I'm not going to tell you this work is going to work 100%. There are some concerns. I think it will work. I think it's going to work, though. I think it's, it's, I'm about 60% confident it's going to work. I'm 100% confident it's going to make the platform last longer because the platform was on track to literally go under within a few days. I'm not sure if I can scroll up because people keep talking. So basically, he kept... All he kept coming back to was, uh, I can't do it. It keeps scrolling up. Sorry. All he kept coming back to was, it's going to it's gonna deflate the market. It's going to deflate the market. Well, and he kept saying, how do you get to 100 million? How do you get to 100 million Tron WoW by giving out 1 billion? Well, they're not giving out 1 billion. What I think is going to happen is people like to earn TRX. The only way you can get TRX now is to sell your dividends. So what they do is you will end up getting... So right now, if dividends were paid out, we still got 12 hours. If dividends were paid out right now, though, I would get 483 Tron worth of WoW tokens. The price is determined by the average price in the past 24 hours. So somebody was like, well, they're just going to manipulate the price before they, you know, they pay you out in WoW, so on and so forth. No, it's the average price in the 24-hour period. There's only so much manipulation that can take place. They're looking at the average price in a 24-hour period. So... When most people were, were, most people, or at least a lot of people, were already taking their Tron and start mining. They were already doing that with their Tron. Now they take that step out. Now you get paid in WoW, and in order to come back in, you have to bring more Tron into the market. That's interesting. It forces people who want to keep mining to keep bringing. No one's going to get WoW as a dividend, sell the WoW. 
and then try to use the profit from the sale to mine more WoW. Nobody's going to do that. So what they're doing is, they're, yes, they're going to inflate the market, but they're creating a kind of a triple deflationary process. So that's what they're hoping to happen. Now, now here's what I think. I'll leave this here for now. Oh, how did that happen? That wasn't supposed to happen. I was supposed to turn that down. I, I can't be mining when I'm playing. Come on. This is my strategy, if you don't know. I basically do the normal mine until I get one wrong, and then I'm Martingale. Oh, come on. Don't let me go bust on camera. There we go. All right. So we'll just leave that for now so so I can pay attention to it. So um, what they're doing now is when you bring Neutron in, so, but let's first talk about why do they have to issue a hundred billion? They the the reason they issued a hundred billion more tokens. I'm sorry, a billion more tokens, not hundred billion. The reason they issued a billion more tokens is because mining was about to end. The vast majority of people, by the way, if you look at the high rollers, F all is still rolling. Um, e Scotch was down here. He was still rolling. I don't see him right now, but he was down here rolling. He's like the probably the the next biggest well. So there's a, a lot of high rollers still rolling. They they obviously kind of get what's going on here. Um, some of these other guys who are just chatting away in the forum do doesn't get it. But here's the thing. You've got to bring Neutron in to play. And as you bring Neutron in, keep in mind, it costs 2%. It costs 2% minimal house edge to play. That's a deflationary mechanism in and of itself. Because, again, nobody's going to take their while, sell it, and then use that to come into the market. It would be a losing proposition. You're going to be lose even if you could sell it for the exact price you got paid out for, you're going to lose 2% coming back in the market. Nobody's going to do that. They're going to take that 2% of profit, 2% of Tron, and they're going to use that to go to the market and buy back. Let's come here. Um, they're going to come to the market and buy back and they're going to use the buyback profits and burn. Now, this is interesting. They're essentially not paying anything out in TRX. They're just giving you WOW tokens. And this is where there could be some criticism. But what I'm banking on is that after the first few days, maybe the first week, I'm banking that at some point people keep playing to get the tokens and they're continuing to hold the tokens. And the buyback, more people are going to be the, the more tokens are going to be bought back and burned than people are willing to sell. Now, this shadow guy, he just kept saying, yeah, but if everybody sold their their token, their dividends today, the market couldn't have handled it. And what he was trying to say is, if you come over here and look at, wow, if everybody came over here and tried to, to let's see, tried to sell, if you look at the sell orders, he's like, you know, there's not enough sell orders if everybody wanted to sell right now. And I haven't done the math, I haven't looked at it, but that's irrelevant. 100% of people are not going to sell. They simply are not. I mean, that's just like, you know, someone told me one time on my CryptoTab browser, the way CryptoTab works, hang on, if it comes up, this is the same flawed logic. They basically said, with the referral system, though, if, if everybody gets referrals, and then all of them get referrals, and all of them get referrals, what happens when the entire world's using... The brow crypto tab browser. I mean, it's just going to grow exponentially, right? And what happens if the entire world, like if, if if five people get five people get five people, if ten people get ten people get ten people, you know, on that ninth level, aren't you going to have like you know a gazillion people, and and that's going to be the entire world population? Uh, yeah, but that's not how life works. That's not how logic works. It doesn't work that way. If Jesus Christ, Dell computers hasn't been able to, you know, for that matter, Apple has an Android hasn't been able to saturate one hundred percent of the market. No other company is probably going to be able to do it. So this logic is weird. Like 100% of the people are going to think the same way. What this Shadows guy is not understanding is he's just simply not understanding that the only reason that there's a market price is because everybody's not willing to sell and everybody's not willing to buy. Now, I do think because it takes some time to unfreeze your wow and stuff, I do think in the next couple of days, I think the current price is going to drop. But I think we're going to find a bottom 
with the hodlers, the people who are holding more than they're selling. And my guess is the buyback and burn, and they're trying to burn to 100 million. So here's the thing. Does this work? I don't know. I think it would be more likely to work if they had better games. The current games they got, I mean, it's just a dice game and this throne thing, but it's just a dice game. But they have the auction, they have the buyback and burn. And in order to buy back, in order for them to have profits to buy back and burn, they've got to have tokens to distribute as dividends. So people, they had to issue, this guy Shadows was like, well, why would they issue another 100 billion? Because if they didn't, it ended. It was all going to end. They had to do something to, for people who wanted to keep earning tokens. So they issue another billion tokens so they can keep paying out divs. They're paying out divs in a while. They're using 100% of the profits to buy back and burn. You think about that. That's kind of crazy. Plus, the auction is still taking place. Plus, it requires Neutron coming in to the market. You're no longer able to, I mean, you can sell your WoW and use your Tron, but you just don't take your divs and, and, and mine. I think it's interesting. I don't know if it works. I give them credit for trying to do something unique. You give Tron WoW credit for doing a few unique things in this space. I mean, the, the dynamic mining, for example, is unique. And by the way, just so you know, the price went up yesterday after this announcement, and it hasn't came back down completely. It was at 0 0.02 yesterday. It's come down a little bit. It was at 0 0.04. It's at 0 0.034 right now. Let's see what happens. Let's let's wait another couple of days. Give it about four or five days. I think then we're going to get an idea of what the market's going to do. I'm still mining. If I can mine for cheap, I'm going to keep mining. I'm, I'm mining a little bit slower, but I'm going to keep mining because here's my thought process. If their goal is to get down to one mil to 100 million, I don't know what the future holds for this token, but I think I would like to hold a million of them, 1%, maybe, maybe. Because you hold 1% and the developers, if they come out with anything else that's new, that's extraordinary, that's re revolutionary, that continues to stimulate people playing, and you own 1% basically of the, essentially the profits, I just think that's going to be a good place to be in. And it looks like the developers are willing to be active. They didn't abandon the project totally. They didn't, you know, so if maybe they're like, you know what, 100 million is too much. Let's take it to 80 million, 50 million tokens. I actually think 100 million is too much in, in the Tron Dapp space if you want to maintain price. I personally think it's too much. For, the, only, the only platform that's maintained price is Tron Bet. Divs suck but they've maintained price. So if they have a mechanism in place where the market has dynamic mining plus market supply is managed by the business platform in and of itself, I mean, this could be truly unique, potentially. I, again, I, I'm feeling, you know, I would say I'm a, I'm a little over halfway optimistic. I'm about 60% optimistic, but it may all crash and burn. It's going to be fascinating. For sure, it's going to be fascinating. So Stay tuned for more. I'll keep you posted uh, on my journey and where I'm going with this. By the way, I yesterday, just to give you a quick recap, yesterday I went over to RO Vegas, and this is one of my favorite platforms, link in the description, and I played some uh, Ultimate, uh, it's, called, it's called Poker Hero, but it's a game called Ultimate Bet Texas Hold'em. Um, it's actually a, a casino game. You can research the, the best strategies online for that, by the way. Um, but I just followed some basic strategies, did a, a bit of a Martingale type strategy with that, did really well. I actually ran up from 120-something Tron total to about 150, which was awesome. And then I was over at, at uh, Block, Blaze Economy, played the King game, got slaughtered, and then I got hit a couple hard on my Martingale strategies with Tron Wild, so I'll end up losing about 30-something Tron. So I'm literally back to where I started yesterday. If you look at my total Tron across the board so far with my strategy, I'm trying to get to 40,000 Tron a day. If you were to look at the total, it's 125, so I guess I'm technically up a little bit. That's not including another, you know, six or seven thousand that's going to come from um, Poker uh, Pokertron. So, we'll, and we're still waiting for the new high-low game to come out from Pokertron as well. But I also ended up mining quite a few more tokens yesterday on that run-up on Tron Wow. I did get about a hundred. Blaze Economy tokens as well. And I also got another over 2,000. I got about, I grew my uh, tokens at, of uh, Royal Vegas Online. I think it's called TMEV tokens. TMEV. I grew those tokens by about 50% as well. So I'm building my holdings. The question is, 
Can any of these platforms keep players playing? That's really all that matters. Can they keep players playing? Um, we'll see. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification icon. And thank you for being here.